setting the fuel injector timing on a 70 gun series Detroit here and I'm using the snap-on tool here, the dial gauge. So first thing you do is you put on the calibration base and you set it to the calibration setting there. And then you bar the engine over, so whatever cylinder you're getting ready to measure, so the exhaust valves are fully depressed. And then you just stick this on, it is magnetic. It'll sit right on the follower there. Once you get it on there flat, I can see that my timing is off considerably here. So I'm going to loosen. Inch, yep, half inch there. And then with the five sixteenths on there, you just rotate it. You can watch as I move the wrench. The beauty of this is when you go to tighten it back down, usually you change it just a little bit so you can make sure that you've got, while I, while I snug it back up here, normally I would do this with two hands, but I'm going to do it with one for right now. So you see as I tighten it, it, it went off just a little bit. So by watching that dial gauge, I can make that adjustment as I go. If I'm using the pin for the height, you can't do that. You don't have the pin on there anymore and you don't know if it gets off. So that's why you get off a little bit tightening at the very end. So the snap-on tool is really nice to have. It's a M3558. They don't make it anymore, but you can find it used.